Hi everybody. So in this lesson, we're going to go through arithmetic sequences and series. Now, firstly, what is an arithmetic sequence? Well, if we, let's say we do 10, 13, 16, 19, etc. This is an arithmetic sequence because it's going up in threes. So 10, plus 3 is 13, plus 3 is 16, plus 3 is 19. An arithmetic series is just when we add them. So 10 plus 13 plus 16 plus 19. Now we're given these two formulae in the formula booklet. This is the nth term of an arithmetic sequence, and this is the sum of n terms of an arithmetic sequence. So this is basically the sum of an arithmetic series. Um, so over here, I've written what these letters stand for. So u of n is the nth term, u1 is the first term, n is the number of terms, d is the common difference. So this, um, when I add 3 to get to here, the common difference is 3, plus 3, plus 3. Now you can also have an arithmetic sequence that goes down, like 20, 15, uh, 10, etc. And the, uh, the common difference here is negative 5. So um, it's, if it's going down in 5s or whatever, then the common difference is just negative whatever it's going down by. Um, and s of n is then the sum of n terms. Okay, I'm going to go straight into the example and go through it, how we use these formulae to solve uh, a given problem. So Fred is training for a marathon. He decides to run 5,000 meters on his first day of training. He then increases the distance he runs by, five, by 300 meters each day. How far does Fred run on the fifth day? Okay, the first thing I like to do in these situations is when, when we're dealing with sequences, write out the sequence. What is the sequence? Well, it's 5,000 on the first day. Then it's going to be 5,300. Then it's going to be 5,600 then 5,900. And actually, if we keep going, we'll get to 6,200, which is what he runs in the fifth day. One, two, three, four, five. Keep going, 6,500. Now, for part A, there's no problem if writing out the first five terms. It, write them all out and then say, this is what he runs in the fifth term, that is that, on the fifth day, that is correct. However, what if it said, how far does he run on the, I don't know, 762nd day? That's not as, um, that's not as easy to do because you, you don't want write, to write out 700 numbers or whatever it happens to be. So I'm going to show you a kind of more technical way to do this. So A, what we're trying to find is how far he run on the fifth day, which is the, f the fifth term. So this is U of five we're trying to find. So let me write down the formula first. U1 equals, sorry, UN equals U1 plus N minus one D. Okay, so we're trying to find the, the nth term, not the sum, because we're not adding up how much he runs on each day. Um, I like to, at the side, write out what each of these things are. So U of N, um, well, hang on. Let me write down U of five is what we don't know. U of 1 is 5,000. Um, N is then 5, because we want to find what he's running on the fifth day. And D, we know, is 300, because it's increasing by 300 each day. So U of 5 equals U1, 5,000, plus N minus 1 D, which is 5 minus 1 times 300, so n minus 1 d minus n, n minus 1 times d. This is 5,000. I could do this with my calculator, but I don't even need to. 5,000 plus 4 times 300 is 1,200, giving me 6,200, which is what I expected. So that's how we apply the kind of, well, the, u, the nth term formula. Great. On which day will Fred run? Will Fred first run more than 21k or 21 kilometers? Right. Let's have a think about that. B. Which day will he first run more than 21 kilometers? Okay, we're still dealing with the we're still dealing with the nth term. So it's u of n equals u1 plus 
n minus 1 d. But we now know u of n. It's, u of n is 21,000. So what we're going to do is we're going to solve the equation and find when does n equal 21. Or when does u of n equal 21,000? Because it tells me that's it's 21 kilometers, which is 21,000 meters. So when the thing I don't know is n. So let me write this down. u of n is 21,000. u of 1 is still 5,000. n is what I don't know. This is what we're trying to find out. And d, I do know, it's still 300. So I'm going to do u1, 5,000, plus n minus 1 times d, which is times 300. OK. Let's do this on the calculator. I could, re I could rearrange it, subtract 5,000, divide by 300, add 1. But let's use numerical solve, because it's so nice. So we have 21,000 equals 5,000 plus n minus 1 times 300. And then we have to do comma n. So n solve, type out your equation, and then you press comma n, as in say, you're telling your calculator, find n, please. Press enter, and we get 54.3333. n equals 54.3333. Three, three. So he runs exactly 21,000 on the 54.3333 day, which doesn't really make sense. But what that means is on the 54th day, he runs less than 21k. And on the 55th day, he'll run um, more than 21k. So I'm going to say, therefore, first day greater than 21 kilometers is the 55th, 55th day. OK, next question. I'll do it down here. Well, here. If Fred continues this training schedule for 30 days, calculate the total distance in kilometers he will run. OK, let's actually do this question over here on the side. OK, part C. So he's going to continue running for 30 days, calculate the total distance in kilometers he will run. So what we're looking at is the sum, the S of n formula, S of n equals. Now, there's two formulae for, for S of n, or the sum of n, sum of n terms, this one and this one. This one we use when we know the, the nth term. When you know u of n, just use this one. It's the first one plus the last one times n divided by 2. Um, this one use if we don't know u of n. In fact, they're basically the same formula, except this has been subbed into this to give you this one. So let me uh, summarize. Use this one if you know u of n, and use this one if you don't know u of n. I don't know u of n because I don't know what u of 30 is. I don't know how much he runs on, his, on, on the 30th day, so I'm going to use this one. This is the more common one you end up using. So it's n over 2 times 2 u1 plus n minus 1 d. OK, I'm going to write out the things that I, I know or that I don't know. So s of n, I don't know. That's what I'm trying to find. Or s of 30, I should say, really. s of 30, I don't know. n equals 30 because um, he's going to run for 30 days. Uh, U1 is the first term. That is going to be 5,000, still 5,000. And D, I should put a bracket here. And D is going to be 300. That still stays the same. OK, so now I just sub in these values. S30 equals 30 over 2, brackets, 2 u1 is 5,000 plus n minus 1. So n is 30. So it's 30 minus 1 times, let me do that again, times 300. 
Okay, just fifths equals. Now I'm going to put all this into my calculator so I can see it. Okay, I'm going to do 30 over 2, put it in exactly as I see it. I could have just done 15, but why not? Um, 2 times 5,000, 2 times 5,000, 2 times 5,000, um, plus 30 minus 1. Now, again, you could obviously put, put um, 29 there, but I'm going to do 30 minus 1 times 300. Okay, I think I've done two brackets there, but that won't, that won't make, make a difference. Um, okay, press enter, and I get 280,500. 280,500. So that's what he's run, let's say, for a month. He's run it in the whole month. He's run 280,000. Well, hang on a second. He's run 280,000 meters. Be very careful. It says calculate the total distance in kilometers he will run. So if he, he's run 280,000 meters, this equals um, 280.5 kilometers. So that's when we add up all the, uh, the number of kilometers he's, he runs in the first day, this plus this plus this plus this plus this, all the way up for, for 30 days. And you may think, well, that seems like a crazy amount to run, but if you're training for a marathon, yeah, you probably should be running about 70 kilometers a week at least. So, um, yeah, that's that makes sense. Okay, so that's arithmetic sequences in series. Of course, you need to understand what a, an arithmetic sequence is and then that the series is just the sum of n terms. This is a, your typical kind of question that you can be asked, but obviously the IB will well, they can ask questions in whatever way they want. So make sure you go out and practice the past papers. Okay, see you in the next lesson when we are doing geometric sequences and series.